Hello, fellow Capricorns and assholes alike. It's time for the 2020 predictive read for 2020, because that's the year we're reading for, right? Capricorns, this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Please check your charts. If this resonates with you, good deal. If not, it's not something to worry about because it ain't even happened yet, so don't be getting at me, okay? Capricorns, these past couple months have been ridiculous, but we're about to see what's coming up for the next year. How are you leaving 2019? I think I... Yeah. As the magician. <laughs> what are you manifesting up? You're in a manifester mood. Didn't you have somebody like this last year? Pretty sure, because I did the same thing, and I'm pretty sure you had the magician last year, too. But you were definitely making shit happen. Let's look at that nonsense. Alright, for your first quarter, Capricorns. We got the hanged man right here. Being at a crossroads. Pisces energy, right? For your second quarter, we got someone falling for temptations. Not restricting themselves when it comes to their lusts or whatever. Could be dealing with a Leo. Third quarter, once again, fire sign. Leo Sag or Aries. Someone isn't taking any passionate action of sorts. Not moving forward, not doing something. Not investing in it or riding towards it. And we have the Three of Pentacles. The works. Or something gets worked out in general. Something works in your favor. It's even got your little symbol right there. Caps. Look at that. I definitely feel like definitely something in your favor. Hmm. Could be an investment, could be work, co-workers, shit like that, right? Considering these past couple of months, your energy it doesn't look this bad, Caps. Virgo and Taurus seem to have like good readings too, so the Earth signs are definitely getting the boost this coming year. It is our time, you know? <laughs> so let's see, the Hanged Man in the first quarter, the first three months of the year, Capricorns. <coughs> You're at a crossroads and you might be looking inside to figure some things out about yourself in order to come out of the crazies. Because you've been crazy for a while, right? Right, you're coming out of delusions and stuff. Definitely could be dealing with the Pisces, but there might be something you have to walk away from as well. You're just a little timid and shy about dealing with that shit the way you want to. Or maybe you're coming out of an illusion where you believed you thought you had to leave something behind. Not entirely sure, but let's keep going. Lust or strength card reverse. Someone might be falling for that temptation. Come out not as victorious as what they thought. But there is healing and communication with this, so that's not so bad of a deal, Capricorns. And this helps the wheel turn a little bit more effectively for you in the second quarter. However, in the third quarter, with the stagnation of movement, um, someone doesn't want to have the energy or invest the energy into like the driving force, which will start something new, a success, a rule. It would definitely be with a fire sign. Um, but that's because they're a little bit manipulative. Capricorn, someone's being really manipulative. When it comes to a new beginning. It's like there's something that they see, but they're not going to speak up about. It could be a water sign. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Hmm. They might make a bold decision. It feels like somebody might not be chosen, but for ulterior motives. I don't know, it's like someone who complains and like they have the chance to get out of a situation they don't have to complain about anymore, and instead of like getting out of the situation they just cling to it. Yeah, misery loves company kind of shit, right? You could be dealing with that kind of energy in the third quarter, Capricorns. You or someone you're dealing with, I'm not sure. 
But it's almost like when it comes to starting something, this person doesn't have the passion and action. In fact, they think otherwise and run in a completely different one's direction, which is probably not the best idea, I feel like. Oh, um, fuck it. I am going to drop that. I am a Capricorn. Fuck it. We're cheating, y'all. We're cheating. We're cheating because, you know, I have favoritism. And it's our season. Welcome to Capricorn season. Drop your fucking heart because it's time to be a little bit heartless. Ew. Actually, we got a book. Okay. So, third party situation. There was rotation and realization within it, right? And an opportunity might have been lost to come together with somebody else because they didn't have the endurance or the strength to keep up. Possibly with the fucking empress. There also could have been a, a, a magician. That this magician was probably not as effective as what they thought. They weren't able to navigate anything to do with this crossroads. Hmm. Interesting, Capricorns. Alright, so we don't need to drop one now. That's cool. Well, we'll go ahead anyway. Fuck it. Because we're cheating. Ugh. Yeah, this person might just say, oh, I, I really don't have the energy for it another night knight of swords like if there's a chance to start something a relationship of some sort or just dealing with a water sign it's kind of like if you ever have the opportunity to start with this person or have something with this person they're not going to take it they're going to run away why I don't fucking know they're gonna they might just go ahead and make a decision to tell you about it for sure that like they're not interested in the commitment with you which you know figures um but it's not i feel like it's just to see if you really care you know almost like you know like we can't be together and they want to see if you beg for it it's just like what the fuck I mean, if you want this person, you might have to beg a little bit. If you don't want this person, tell them to go fuck themselves. That's up to you, Capricorns. But I feel like they're playing that kind of, like, dramatic games. You know, it's, it's a fucking water sign, for Christ's sake. You know? So, they, they might be testing your resolve to them a little bit, too. But you never know. Maybe they just aren't interested. But they're doing it under, um... For the wrong reasons, or they're not seeing something that they're doing. All right, what works with the Three of Pentacles? Something actually works out in the fourth quarter. Um, we got the sun, but it's reversed. So there's no power in Genesis, no golden age in this period. Somebody goes to say that shit. Good to be to a Leo, right? Ooh. Um, but they're not spilling any fucking secrets. Capricorn, you might be like not taking the bait or someone's not taking your bait because it's completely unfair. The truth is out and there needs to be balance in this situation instead of all the crypticness and mystery. Which has your sign on it. You know. It's like you're going to have to tell somebody something in the end. Which might be to have a clean slate. Um... Someone might also be aware of this shit. Seeing the future and all that. How are you going to enter 2020? Without any turmoil or chaos. Or you're at least trying to come out of that shit. That vibe of like, hmm. He's like, I just want to shine. I don't want to start no shit. Strange Capricorns. Ouch. I just hurt my eyeball. Okay. So let's see what the summary is for all of this. First quarter. Hmm. Capricorns, I feel like there's something going on here. For sure. Like, there's something trying to keep you in a situation where you know it's no longer working. To the point now where it's kind of pissing you off a little bit. Because it's just like, you know, like, eh, I don't want to be tethered anymore. 
but there's that shyness about like trying to get away from this stuff but it's like it's more like a feeling of independence like maybe you don't want to be with anybody maybe you're just like no i just want to be free alone on a fucking mountain listening to whatever music i feel like and not having to talk to anybody who wants my attention because it's annoying you know like let me make my money and be a grumpy old person in peace at least i'm happier that way you know the second quarter, yeah, so it's like somebody wants to say something. Or it's some knight, for some reason, is writing in for whatever. Or maybe that's you, running away from this shit to get out of the chaos and the turmoil. Hmm. Like, you are manifesting a lack of conflict. But I'm wondering, you know, that's kind of like, a, be careful what you wish for, right? Are, how far are you going to go to avoid conflict? Because you're getting out of the situation here, you're running away here, you're asking for clean slate, someone who, like, should be interested or invested doesn't have any, like, passion action, nor do they speak of any intention or hunger of sorts to even, like, deal with whatever it is that's going on kind of record it's like you're just releasing or you're just avoiding shit like people for this third quarter yeah five of cups reverse disappointment i feel like you're going to get over that it's like disappointment it is not it's kind of like it's, it, it could be like, you could be sad about it by the third quarter. But I think you saw it coming. Or maybe the person you might be dealing with in the third quarter did. Or maybe it was just something so predictive to you, but nobody else saw it. I feel like no one's gonna really be that disappointed with this third quarter. Especially you, Caps. It's like, ah, oh, okay, whatever. Fourth quarter. Ooh, the Empress. Yeah, all of that, like, when you're not, it's like you're not happy, you express that you want a clean slate in some way in order to be the Empress. Um, mind you, she doesn't mind being by herself either. So, you know, there's that. How do you end 2020, my dears? Three of Wands reverse. Virtue, this is not. Capricorns, are you running away from something again? Is it them feels? Those fucking feelings? Probably. But I think at some point, once you're done with 2020, I don't think you're going to be like making any more excuses not to deal with the shit no more. Personally, myself... Hmm. I don't know, it's just strange because, like, there's happy unhappiness here. And it's like a desire to start again. Just to become the Empress. So that's kind of interesting. Well, Capricorns, that's your 2020 read. For next year which is 2020 anyway i will see you guys later i hope this helps everybody out have a good holiday or whatnot love your faces bye bye